Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So today, I'm, uh, I know I say this all the time, but I'm trying something new. <laughs> uh, got a piece of beach on here that, off of some trees that came down in the, uh, out back. We got a intermittent um, creek back there and uh, one of the neighbors saw one of them was rotting and got the homeowners association to come out and cut it down. Well, I seen this project on YouTube, looking for some inspiration, and I actually had somebody ask me if I could make one. So, I'm giving it a try. Right now, I, and like I said, I got a piece of beach log on here. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get this turning and um, see how it goes. Alright, so we got it at around 400. Uh, I wasn't able to trim enough down off of it to get it to where uh, it's more centered, I guess, is what I'm looking for. So we're going to go ahead and take it down a little bit here and uh, see if we can't get some more speed. Alright, so I got a couple of inclusions here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some uh, thin CA, try and fill this in. And we're going to do the Insta set by uh, Bob Smith Industries. All right, we're gonna sand up to about 240.
All right, guys, we're gonna use some uh, unicorn spit. Some of the, uh, it's a concentrate, so I watered some of it down. But this is, well, it's green, but dragon's belly is the name of what they call this one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and brush some of this. Like I said, I got it water, added some water to it. We're gonna go ahead and brush some of this on and see how it goes. This isn't exactly what I was looking for, so I'm going to sand it down just a hair to see if it'll see what it does. I'm going to clean it up a little bit with some denatured alcohol. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, my homemade sanding. Sad thing is you can tell where the CA glue was. We're gonna throw some Rust-Oleum lacquer on there as a finish. I'm gonna let that run until it dries and then whenever it come back out I'll check and see if it needs another coat. After that we'll flip it around and start working on the inside. Now that we got this flipped around let's go ahead and start hollowing. sand up a little or clean up a little bit and we'll come back and start sanding all right we're gonna sand up to about uh, 240 
We're going to take down some of the luster with some uh, with a uh, scotch brite pad, and uh, I need to get a new one here soon. All right, everybody. Good news, bad news. Good news is this thing actually starting to look nice. Bad news is I ended up having to take all the stain off of the back. So, um, not happy about that, but, uh, yeah. So, everything's been resanded. Um, I just did the uh, Mylan sanding sealer, and we're going to move on to some sanding paste. Alright, we're going to go to some of my uh, homemade sanding paste. Gonna move on to some Hobi Shine Juice. Well, everybody, this was fun. I know now that uh, I can't stain beach, or at least I can't use unicorn spit on beach. So we'll try it on something that's got some more open grain in it next time. But uh, I am happy with the way this came out. I do like the grain in it. And uh, overall, I think it looked pretty good. I'm going to do the uh, logo coin on the bottom. And as always, I'll get some stills up here at the end. And this week, we didn't have any entry to the sticker wall. So thanks uh, for you guys who have watched this far. Thank you. Um, if you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button. Or hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. And YouTube will let you know whenever I post a new video. Um, comment on it, share it. If you comment on it, tell me if you've done uh, beach before, if you've used it, and if you have, what kind of stain did you use, if you stained it. Um, again, guys, I appreciate everybody watching, and until uh, next time, thanks again.